I think the main goal of uh, the treatment of hemophilia that patients can live lives they would like to live, they choose to live. And that's, uh, with this goal in mind, new and more options will give that opportunity and they have a more choice. And it depends on a particular patient, depending on the age, on the status of the patient. I think with more treatments available, they will have that opportunity to have a choice and tailor to their own needs, to their own lifestyle, and uh, to their aspirations and desires. A factor eight remains as a standard of care, and we think it will remain for many, many years to come as a factor eight as a standard of care. And um, Factor eight replacement therapy, especially the you know, novel therapies that just came, like GV, for example, that have uh, long-term efficacy, safety with uh, higher levels and less infusions, will have a very much place as they have right now. And uh, gene therapy will, will be an option for many patients, not for all, but for many patients. And it depends also which gene therapy will be um, used. Uh, there will be obviously differences and there are differences in development of the different companies. So uh, we believe that our innovative approach, uh, B259, AVHU37, it's the first of its kind. This has been just tested in humans. Uh, we're aiming for longer expression of, uh, of factor eight with the high levels. So again, it depends on uh, on the patient population. It depends on the, on the product. The great news about all all of this development that the patients will have more options and have more choice.